Hi there. Today we're going to build a stand for this rain barrel. We're going to build it about a foot off the ground. We're going to raise it up. And I will cut this here and have it drain right into the top of this rain barrel. As you can see there's a place where the water can go in and catch all the debris. Filter it out. And this rain water is going to be used for our garden because we're going to put in an extra garden this year. So we're going to need a lot of water and then I'll have another rain barrel over here. I'm going to fix it on top of a trailer so I can cart it over there. But for this, for the rainwater that's in here, it'll be mostly used here on this garden that's right here beside us. Okay, so we're going to be using some old wood that I found just laying around here. I just had a bunch of scrap wood, so I found a couple of posts. You know, I like to call these four by four posts, but they're like three and a half by three and a half. But anyway, that's what we're going to use. I'm going to measure it one foot. Now, I said my stand would be one foot tall, but it's going to be one foot plus I'm going to have two by fours on the top as the base. So it'll be a little higher than a foot, but that's okay. We have room for that. So I'll cut these up. Okay, now the barrel is about a 27 inch in diameter. So I'm going to make my legs or the cross braces 28 inches long. So our stand is going to be 28 by 28. So we had a little mishap. One of my legs, I was going to try something different. I was going to, let me find a piece of scrap wood here. I don't have one. So I was going to try and make my leg like this, you know, tuck it in, uh, tuck in the side braces like that. But these, um, I was using old wood I have around here and it's, they're split here. So when I, cut this out and I chiseled out of this piece in here this part here came off too it was supposed to fit right inside here so this would have been solid piece right here but you know what it's not a big deal and I didn't have any more of these so I looked around like I said I didn't have any but I found these and they're a little different shape but it's only one leg I'm not gonna go out and spend money on a post uh, that ex that's exactly like this one. So I just found some of this. So I'm going to use one leg for this. No big deal. It's going to still hold the water barrel. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting this together.
Okay, the base is done pretty much. I just have to put these boards on. Now I have to screw the boards to the base. So I was going to use 2x4s, but I didn't have enough. But I had some 2x6s, old ones, so I just cut them to shape to size. And now I'm going to screw them on. So there we have it, the rain barrel stand is done. I put it in place. And I guess what I'm gonna do now is I'll just take this part off of the downspout and I'll have a, a attachment here come right down into the rain barrel itself. And then you'll be able to just, I'll have a spigot here, and just be able to turn it on. So you're at the right height, fill up the rain, uh, the watering can and take it to the garden. That's all there is to it. Just made out of wood around the house. Didn't cost me a dime except for a few screws. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to build your own rain barrel stand. And if you did, please like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next video.